So Blue Ocean Strategy is actually, a be, it's been on my list. I actually been searching for the book um, and then found it a week or so ago before I think it was out of publication or I couldn't find it. I found the Audible but not the actual uh, you know, book. I always like to read the book and then if I really like it and put it on my Audible to listen to it again and again and again right? if I don't want to read it too many times. But one of the reasons I thought Blue Ocean Strategy was like the pumpkin plan. Um, I reviewed that book. It should be in my videos before, but check it. I'm not 100% sure. But pumpkin plan is about, you know, having a niche and like growing, being really good at it and then growing that business that way, having a niche, really concentrated market. Blue Ocean is not that. So the, theory, the, the authors are, it's very technical, detail, charts, figures, and all that. So I'm not going to be able to describe everything in the book. You probably ought to read it. Anybody who is an entrepreneur ought to read it, even if you're not an entrepreneur, because one of the examples the authors go get into is how the New York police was uh, completely changed the strategy and you know kind of created a blue wish blue ocean strategy there to completely change how uh, their police department works and really got better. Uh, but basically, the, the, the authors say red ocean, blue ocean. Red ocean is where everybody plays. It's filled with competition. Like, for example, if you're in, let's say, software development, IT, you know, you got Microsoft, you got Google, you got Salesforce, Oracle, everybody, you know, Let's say Oracle, Microsoft, and whoever is competing in the database market, everybody has a database. You know, there are like 10 different databases. You're competing for the same customer. But if you create a niche completely separate, like SAP, which is a niche, specialized software, then that's the blue ocean because nobody else can copy it regardless of the price. The other one they get into very heavily is Cirque del Sol. Am I saying that right? But anyway, the whole point of that business was that circus, traditional circus, was coming basically antiquated, you know, and people had concerns about animals and all that stuff. And so Cir what Cirque del Sol did was create both the theater experience and the circus experience in one, and thereby creating the blue ocean where they are the only ones, right? So they go into a lot of detailed strategies and uh, uh, thought process on how you create a blue ocean industry in any industry or they, or they give those examples on how it can be created so it is very very uh, intriguing and they go into stats and um, trading trending trending information charts and how to how to create a blue ocean strategy uh, so it's just not theory, but it's actually really practicality. I would say it's more for someone creating their own business than somebody just, you know, essentially, if you're, I don't know, a shop owner. I'm not sure how this, you know, kind of works for that one. But hey, you know, maybe that triggers some ideas. You know, you can be that niche shop you know you have a convenience store maybe you can be a convenience niche convenience store blue ocean where nobody else is doing it uh, you figure out a problem or you figure out some way people don't think about and create a blue ocean anyway highly highly recommend this book blue ocean strategy probably multiple words read or at least multiple lessons that's what i'm going to do anyway to you know figure out whenever you can about blue ocean you know planning.